We recently used the Zhuin Weibo Lab for the first time in one of our productions. Its compact and lightweight design combined with its unique ergonomics made it perfect for this running gun shoot. And today we're going to share with you five quick cinematic gimbal shots we used in this short film and tips for executing them. Hi, I'm Chris Ashwell with Cincy Stories. And last time we were taking a look at the Crane 3 Lab. And this time we're taking a look at the Weibo Lab. And as you can see, quite a bit of size difference between these two gimbals. In fact, that's why we chose it for this shoot. It's small, it's light, and it retains most of the functionality of the Crane 3. The shoot that we decided to use the Weeble Lab on is actually a collaboration with another local nonprofit called Wordplay that's dedicated to helping kids with reading, writing, and literacy. They worked with a local high school student to write a poem about one morning in Cincinnati from their perspective. Then we made a short film about that poem. We wanted the final film to be cinematic and dreamy while still maintaining the gritty reality of an urban landscape. To pull off the shoot that we wanted, we knew we needed to be lightweight, so the Weeble Lab was perfect for the job. For this shoot, of course, we used the Weeble Lab, the Sony a6500, the Sigma 16 f1.4, the Sony 18 to 105 f4, the Sony a7S2 with a Minolta 50mm 1.4 for handheld shots, the Sony a7S2 with the Tamron 28 to 75 2.8 for behind the scenes, and a Phantom 3 Professional for a quick drone shot. So let's jump in and look at five types of cinematic shots that we got with the Weeble Lab. Number one, follow shots. These are one of the most basic and used gimbal shots. We did some following from behind, from the front, and got low with just his feet. We use these shots because it's great to show that he's on a journey, that he's walking somewhere. Anytime you're walking with the gimbal, keep your knees bent and walk heel to toe to reduce the Z axis or the up and down movement. Also, being one of the most common gimbal shots, it's easy to overuse, so be thoughtful about when and how to use it. Number two, tracking shots. Tracking shots are similar to follow shots, but instead you're tracking the subject in profile. When shooting tracking shots, it's even more important to be aware of your up and down movement as it'll be really noticeable. I like using zoom lenses in tracking shots and putting something between myself and the subject for a quick moving parallax effect. Number three, reveal shots. I love using reveal shots, especially for establishing shots. Like in this shot, we use it to introduce our setting and our main character. For these shots with the Weeble Lab, I like to use the full follow mode by pressing the trigger at the front of the gimbal. Walking while tilting down will give these shots both a parallax and a slow push-in effect that would be almost impossible for us to get without the gimbal. Personally, I like to get the settings on the gimbal really slow for the smoothest pans and tilts. Number four, jib shots. Since the gimbal is so light, we were able to slap it to the end of a Manfrotto light stand and get these mock jib shots. Now the hardest part of achieving these is keeping whatever you're using to extend the gimbal out steady, because any motion at the base becomes super exaggerated by the time it reaches the end where the gimbal is. It took us more than a few times to get something usable, but the final results were awesome. I'd recommend having another hand steady the middle of the extender if you have a crew. Number five, car shots. Lastly, we decided to do some moving car shots. The Weeble Lab is perfect for this not only because it's lightweight, but also because of its ability to position a handle in the back makes it feel much more stable in your hands. And let's be honest, who doesn't want thousands of dollars of equipment to feel more stable when you're holding outside of a moving vehicle? For these shots, we found that using the gimbal in locked mode and controlling the movement with the joystick was the most effective way to get the pans and tilts we were after. So there you have it, five ways we use the Weeble Lab in our production. Keep in mind with a gimbal as with any tool in your arsenal, don't overuse it. We combine these shots with grittier handheld shots, drone shots, an engrossing soundscape, and of course the words of the talented poet to create our final film. All tools and techniques should be used to further your story. That said, this is an incredible storytelling tool and one we definitely recommend. With that, check out our final short film and we'll see you next time. Birds flying high, you know how I feel Singing songs unknown by man, chirping, swinging, swaying in the wind Wings gently coated by the sun's kisses Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Amplify the whistles and clinks of the morning train go by. The bustles and bunks of the Cincy Metro pouring rays of life into my eye. Reeds drifting on by, you know how I feel.
Drifting in a river absent of space and time. Red, yellow, green, blue skies reflecting off the windows of drivers passing by. Unveiling the beauty of eyes of the beholder. Stop. Look. Breathe. Stop for a second. Look at what you've been given. Breathe for just a second. Black, white, green, blue, so many colors making up the beautiful Cincy blue. And I'm feeling good.